I wanted to write novels and speak five languages and travel. I didn't want to be ordinary. I wanted to be extraordinary. I want to stay in New York for a while. A while? I miss your rants. Everyone in Berkeley is so serious and in the job. That Jerry. Socialist bookstore where he worked part time. I haven't seen you around here before. Let me guess, you're an intern at the New Yorker. Besides fighting materialism and raising class awareness, Don was. Dear Mr. Salinger, I read your book, The Catcher in the Rye, three times now. It's a masterpiece, and I hope you're proud of it. I mean, you certainly should be. Maybe I don't. I think about Holden a lot. When I first think about him, I get a stupid grin on my face, you know? Thinking about what a funny guy he is and all. But then I usually get depressed as hell. Because I only think about Holden when I'm feeling very emotional, and I can get quite emotional. I can get quite emotional. There were hundreds of us, thousands maybe, all girls working at literary agencies or publishing houses. We answered calls for our bosses, ushered in the writers, fetched them water, never belying the fact that we wanted to be writers ourselves. Night, Jerry. Maybe I thought I understood. Maybe he realized that what he wanted wasn't what he wanted at all. I grew up reading The New Yorker. I feel this boy just deserves a proper response, not our usual bullshit. Bullshit? You My teacher is going to make me flunk. Aren't you supposed to be in school? Who do you think you are? It's my job here to answer Jerry's mail. Oh, it's Jerry to you. Is he your sugar daddy? It, no, I, I've never even met him, okay? Mr. Salad. I'm going to summer school. So thanks a lot, Miss Rackoff. She's leaving us. For whom? Does it matter? If I were Judy, I would have left too. Joanna. Why? Okay, you think. 
something? That when a man falls in love, he doesn't look at another woman? Mm -hmm. But I have news for you. Every man in this world is looking at every woman in this world and, and deciding whether or not he wants to fuck her. She's sexy, right? Don, I think you might be in a hole. We might want to stop digging. You think women don't look at other men? We do. We even look at other women. We just don't drool while we do it. Booba. <laughs> Booba. I drool exclusively for you. Mm. Hey, white wine? Uh, of course I do. Why is it by inside out? You. And you. I've widened the spine, see, to give the books. Ask you something. This um, uh, Clifford Bradbury the fellow. Sure. What do you make of him? I like him. Uh, sometimes I think he can overthink things, but he just doesn't want to let you down. Have you been writing every day? So when's the wedding? It's, uh, it's Columbus Day weekend, right? Or, or am I making or am I making that up? It's next weekend, Don. Joanna, you're coming, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excited. You're an asshole. Because you know what? I like her back, please, Booba. Stop calling me Booba, okay? I'm not a child. I, I call you Booba because I love you. It's what my grandmother calls my mom. You love me. Of course. What a funny guy he is and all. But then I usually get depressed as hell because I only think about Holden when I'm feeling very emotional. I can get quiet emotional. That's what I have become, quiet emotional. Dear boy from Winston-Salem. Joanna, what is it? Has something happened to the agency? No, 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 everything's fine. I brought you these and some soup from Manja. I know you like their mushroom barley. That's very thoughtful. You do pay attention, don't you? like I thought. Nothing. He's brutal, brutal and funny and I love it. I love Fran
Hey, Booba. You going somewhere? I'm leaving you, Don. <laughs> I get it. This is about the wedding. Something hit me while you were gone. Why are you making a thing out of this? Listen to me. Something hit me while you were gone. But they never really engaged. I didn't miss you. What? I didn't think about you. Not for one second. Who do you want to be? How are you going? These are my rules. And I put them on my lips. You're the only one. I'm so grateful. I'm so, so grateful. You're leaving. I was planning on talking to you sometime this week. But you're doing so well. I mean, you have it in you to become a really fine agent. You have good instincts, a good heart. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Margaret. My mind's made up. Of course, I'll stay until you can find a replacement. You have other aspirations.